Hey guys, DC Network here, coming at you with another video. We're about halfway through the Total Drama Island revival, the first season of this new revival that's currently airing on Cartoon Network. And today I wanted to discuss with you guys my biggest problem with this new iteration of Total Drama Island and why it pales in comparison to the original series, at least in my opinion. There will be spoilers in this video as to certain contestants about their personality and just the eliminations that happened during the show so spoilers ahead you have been warned from the moment this revival started in the first episode which i put a first impressions video up on the channel i was saying that it kind of felt rushed right we weren't really getting to know these characters getting to know these contestants and while that's gotten better as this series progressed just something that i've noticed about these characters is just that they're all very flat to me they're not very interesting characters when you take a look at the original total drama island which premiered all the way back in 2007 of course we had such a wide range of characters everywhere from Duncan to Courtney to Gwen to Trent to Owen to Heather to Izzy to Zeke and so on and so on there were so many unique distinctive characters within this world of Total Drama Island and obviously a lot of the characters didn't get along there were a lot of fights on the show or there were some alliances quote-unquote backstabbing you know the types of things you would see on a reality tv show like remember how Heather became all buddy buddy with Lindsay and Beth just to betray them at the end of the day later on in the initial season of the show and obviously that all comes into play in the later iterations as well such as Action or World Tour or how Lashana and Heather just hated each other or how there were alliances in the show as well and how the romances within the series too with Trent liking Gwen and vice versa Duncan and Courtney later Duncan and Gwen in the later iterations of the show I could be going on and on and on Izzy and Owen obviously were a thing in the first season as well and when you take all of that and then compare it to the characters in this new iteration of total drama island they're just uninteresting like the phrase i came up with is what happened to the drama in total drama island because it feels like that aspect of this show is missing so many of the characters just seem to be buddy buddy with each other there are no real enemies there are no real alliances while the term alliance is thrown around every so often priya and millie apparently have an alliance but it seems nothing to, in comparison to the original show like heather was hated by everybody right Right? she got people voted off she was manipulative there were people sabotaging other contestants i remember at one point i think duncan didn't want courtney to get voted off or no rather i think it was harold actually was angry at duncan so he changed the vote to get courtney voted off or something along those lines there was sabotage in the original show and that all does not exist here within this new iteration of total drama island the characters in this new iteration are just so one-dimensional there are no enemies juliet i believe her name is she doesn't get along with cast of characters because she's being all bossy now since she lost her following on social media but it's just all so uninteresting and i even feel like to a degree when you take a look at chef hatchet and chris mclean they're even uninteresting in this series and i feel like part of it is that cartoon network wants us to be a kid's show and they want to make it so that everybody gets along you know everybody's welcomed here as opposed to having these enemies and these alliances forming and you know sabotage and all the things we saw in the original total drama island like yes mk did steal juliet's phone yes mk did steal the video in the confessional room but that's nothing in comparison to what used to happen in the old iterations of this franchise like for example when this revival first started they have bowie right bowie is a great character in my opinion i thought he was going to be the new heather when this series first started but really he hasn't done much of anything they've talked about how you have to be strategic in who you're voting for you have to vote the people off who feel like a threat who feel like they could actually win the million dollar prize but if i'm being honest no one feels like they're a threat no one seems like they're gonna make a run at the million dollars because it seems like everyone's just there to be there no one's there to become rich and famous which are the famous words that were in the original series theme song i want to be famous that's the name of the song and i feel like all of that is just lost here in all honesty i'm kind of curious if this show was on adult swim instead how much better would it be than what it is right now because i feel like it's stuck in a weird place where it's like they're trying to be more kid friendly while also trying to be total drama island because total drama island and that franchise in general the total drama franchise always borderlined on being you know a young adult show it was always something that was really meant for teenage audiences that yes younger kids could enjoy it as well but it really had some more mature themes in it like for example i remember growing up one of the neighbors on my block she's a couple years older than me her dad would not let her watch the original series because he thought it was inappropriate for her and honestly i could kind of see where he's coming from because if you just take a quick glance at the original total drama island it's 
seems like your typical reality TV show that's meant for teenagers or young adults with some more mature themes in them, and that just all seems to be missing here from Total Drama Island's 2023 revival. With all of that being said though, I'm not saying that this iteration is bad. It's not a bad series, it's just missing that charm and that just interest that the original show had. It's missing that level of intrigue of who's going to get voted off this week? What's going to happen this week on the series? What's the challenge going to be? What is Chef Hatchet and Chris McClain going to do to torture these teenagers? And speaking of Chris McClain and Chef Hatchet, they just seem to be flat characters as well. Like Chris was probably my favorite character out of the entirety of Total Drama Island back in the day. I loved him as the host of the show and I thought Chef was also an amazing character as well. And they just kind of seem to be there now and just exist. Like Chris has just lost every level of charm he had. In the original series, he just seemed like he was a crazy famous reality TV host. In this show, he's just kind of there. I just don't have that same level of interest in that character. And Chef as well. Chef seems to be all buddy-buddy with the contestants. There was a challenge in the most recent episode where they were eating all the food and they had to not throw it up. It's kind of something similar to what they did in the original show. Basically, Chris was like, oh, we have to end this tiebreaker, so you guys have to eat a tapeworm. And whoever finishes to the half point of the tapeworm first wins the challenge. And Chef was like, no, Chris, we can't do that. That's a little bit too far. These kids are going to get sick from that. Those are words that would have never been uttered in the original show. And I just don't understand what happened to this series. And I really feel like, honestly, the answer has to be network meddling. That's the only thing I could think of because the original show was not like this. Total Drama Action, World Tour, Revenge of the Island, All Stars, Pakatui Island, however you say that one, and the Ridiculous Race, none of those were like this. Total Drama Rama happens, and then all of a sudden, Total Drama Island takes a notch down, a step back to become more kid friendly. Again, I just have to assume that this is a mandate coming from network executives, and the show wouldn't be like this if it wasn't for network meddling. Again, I don't think it's bad. I think the series is well done, but it's just not the same as it used to be. It's just not as good as the original Total Drama Island and the series that came after it. Anyways, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about all this. What do you guys think about the new Total Drama Island? Do you agree with me that it's just missing the drama? It doesn't have that same level of intrigue that the original cast of characters had. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to see more content like this from DC Network. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.